now joined uh, by the winning trainer and jockey, respectively, of Flotilla, winner of the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Philly Turf. Uh, on the left, trainer Mikel Desangle and uh, winning rider uh, Christophe Lemaire. Congratulations, gentlemen. And uh, the first Breeders' Cup victory for each of you. I know, uh, Mikel, one win from one start. Keep it going. Perfect record so far. You'll look to uh, make it two for two a little later on. And only the fourth Breeders' Cup uh, mount for Christophe Lemaire. Well done. Uh, and you two have had a lot of... Uh, if you would, in introduce the gentleman on your right, Mikel. Uh, Thierry Deleg is the, the racing manager of the owner. Okay, and your name, sir? Thierry Deleg. Thierry Deleg. Deleg. Yes. Thierry Deleg. Okay, very well. Um, the two of you were the winning uh, jockey and trainer, uh, respectively, uh, with Dunedin in the Melbourne Cup. You're taking your global success now here to North America, and I know, Mikel, uh, you will be sending out Dunedin in the uh, Melbourne Cup uh, their Tuesday, our Monday night. It must be quite a whirlwind uh, few days for you, I would imagine. Yeah, no, it's kind of a world tour, but uh, when things happen well like today, it's, uh, it's quite easy. Christophe, uh, this is the first time you had ridden uh, Flotilla. She didn't really have clear run last time in the Marcel Boussac, um, and it looked like there were times during the early part of the running where you needed to steady her just a little bit. Take us through the journey, if you would. Yes, that's right, because uh, she can be a little bit keen during the race. So the first thing was to relax her, maybe in the middle of the, of the field. And uh, she was still a little bit on the bridle because of the slow pace. But uh, she was breathing very well. So uh, I was not worried in the last turn because uh, I knew she would be able to, to react uh, very well uh, down the stretch. And uh, Thierry, obviously, this is a, a terrific uh, finale to the two-year-old year. Any early idea what types of races uh, Flotilla might be pointed to next year? We will see. Uh, we think that's a very good filly on the mile. Uh, so we will see with all the classics on the miles in Europe. Very good. We have uh, anybody in the press box is welcome to ask a question by getting it over to Ed Golden, and he'll relay it down. Meanwhile, we'll start down here with Marcus. Yeah, uh, just wondering about um, the decision to even send her here. I know she's been on kind of soft courses all the time. Was your thought that she would really like the uh, the firm going here uh, at Santa Anita and the tight turns as well? Yes, uh, uh, I don't know if she would like the tight turns, but as she's a uh, feeling a bit keen, uh, the tight turns help to to get a bit relaxed, and uh, and definitely she's she's more bred to go on fast ground than soft ground. Even on soft ground, she she did very good races in Europe. But uh, we, we thought that uh, she might be better on, on fast ground. This is for the trainer Del Zangles. You had beaten only a little over a length in the Marcel Busseau and Arc Day at Longchamp. Coming to uh, Santa Anita, was that your long term target or was it a kind of an afterthought after the race on Arc Day? <laughs> no, I wouldn't say it was a long term target. Uh, we, was, we were. We are happy with our run in, in Longchamp, even if we were a bit disappointed, she, she was a bit uh, unlucky. But uh, the, the way she ran was quite promising, and uh, we thought uh, maybe we should... Uh, and the owner was very keen on coming to, to America, so, um, so we decided that uh, we should have a try. Mikel, obviously you need to have good horses, but you've certainly had a, a nice run in your first Breeders' Cup start. Is this a, uh, a journey that you'd like to make more frequently in the future? Well, it's always very... <laughs> I would be always very happy to have a horse good enough to, to come to America to win a Breeders' Cup, definitely. And uh, good luck with Redesanya later on in the Philly Mare Turf. We have a question right here. Right. Mikel, obviously you say she's, she goes well on fast ground. Bearing in mind we tend to get sort of softer ground in France in the spring. Does that mean she's quite a a possible contender for the English 1,000 guineas? You know, the, I think the French 1,000 guineas are usually running on very fast ground. And uh, uh, we'll see. If, if, if it rains in, in France uh, and if it doesn't in England, it was quite <laughs> not very often like that. We, we'll see what, what's the best for her. Christophe, uh, turning for home, <clears throat> looked like you had a lot of horse. You needed to find some room. And it turned out that you went behind What's the Chances, who was one of the, the, the choices in the race. Was that a conscious decision by you, or did you just need room wherever you could find it? 
at the final moment you you go where you can <laughs> but uh, of course uh, i knew that the horse in front of me was a good chance and uh, he was traveling very well so instead of uh, going wild outside i just uh, kept following this horse and uh, he found his room a uh, little bit uh, earlier than me but uh, after that i had uh, plenty of uh, space on the outside to come and to let my filly uh, stretch and use uh, her big stride. And Mikkel, uh, give us your itinerary if you would. Are you going straight to Australia from here or are you going somewhere in between? No, I'm going straight to Australia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, leaving tomorrow or? Leaving tonight. Leaving tonight. Okay, well, it'll be a happy flight, I'm sure. Another question from Tom. Uh, Christoph, uh, you have been riding for the Aga Khan. Now this is your second year and we switch tables. How good is the partnership? You like what's going on and have you been doing well? Uh, of course, it's a great pleasure to ride for, um, for the Prince Aga Khan. He's got uh, wonderful uh, stable, wonderful horses. Uh, it's a big challenge uh, for me uh, because uh, we need some results. But on the meantime, uh, the Prince is uh, somebody who knows very well the, ho the, the races and uh, he can analyze uh, very well uh, the races so um, we, we work in very good relationship and uh, I, I can ride very confident because the, the prince has confidence to me so it's easier. Okay, well a terrific win by uh, Flotilla, Michaela and Christophe, congratulations on your first Breeders Cup win, hopefully the first of many. Thierry, thank you very much as well for being with us. Great job you. by you and Flotilla. Congratulations. Thank, thank you. you.